Hey there traders, welcome back for episode 13 from the stockbandit.tv. It's a place where you know you can always find videos to help make you a better trader. So I'm glad that you joined me for this episode. You know, it's Super Bowl Sunday and I hope that you're set for a fun evening, whatever you end up doing. But before we hit the market this week, it's really just time to stop and take a good look at the general conditions and just take a look and see what's going on out there. You know, after all, that is what's going to impact the majority of individual stocks and how they behave, which means it absolutely is important to our trading over these next several days. So right now we're in an environment where uh, we've seen a lot of disappointment, a lot of indecision. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time with uh, really the majority of the trading over the past few months with the exception of just a few days outside of this trading range. But we've by and large been bound by a trading range with well-defined support and resistance levels, really keeping this market somewhat handcuffed. And that means there's been a lack of momentum and there's been uh, most notably a lack of upside confidence. We've seen a number of times when bounces have been sold and yet the uh, pullbacks Traders don't seem that eager to, to jump in and scoop up those bargains and start buying stocks. And so it really has been a market where each little bounce that we see gets quickly sold and uh, we see prices return quickly to where they came from. Now, in the next few days, I think it's going to be gut check time for this market because the indices are really starting to approach some important levels. And, and most notably in the S&P 500 and the Dow, uh, it would not take much more weakness from here before the only thing that stands as support is going to be the November lows. And so let's take a look at the major averages. I'll show you what levels I'm looking at as we start this week. Up first is the NASDAQ. And of course, last week we had kind of some excitement with uh, Wednesday marking the top. We had the idea of a bad bank plan, which the market got a lot of excited about. And we also saw the Fed come out that day and, and really... Uh, proved to be kind of a non-event on that day. Most of the gains had come about earlier in the day. But however, uh, Thursday we gave that entire move back almost to the penny, uh, especially in the S&P 500. Uh, but basically we ended up right back where we were on Tuesday's close. And then Friday we saw more weakness and that came about on some increased volume. And so for the NASDAQ, we're coming back down and short-term support is where these January lows are. That's right here, and that's at the 1434 area. So if we do uh, remain weak heading into this, uh, the early portion of this week, then that 1434 level is gonna be the spot to watch. If we crack that, next spot is gonna be right here at the 1400 level. And then be beneath that, of, of course, the uh, November lows down near 1295. Now, if we can turn and rally, and if last week's pullback uh, is simply a little bit of a shakeout type move and if instead we do turn higher then these January highs are going to be a level to be watching 1568 for the NASDAQ. For the S&P 500 watching this 815 area in the very short term also watching the January lows at the 804 level. If those levels are taken out to the downside and we see weakness uh, which set in on Thursday and Friday if that does persist into this week then these November lows at 741 are going to be the next level that this index is likely to test. Instead, if we do turn higher, then these January highs are, of course, going to be the level to keep an eye on. So that's what we're watching there. For the Dow, we're coming right down toward these uh, January lows. That's right here where this uh, yellow horizontal trend line stands. That's at the 7909 area. So we're just about 110 points away from there. If we undercut that, and especially if we close beneath that, then these November lows at 74.49 are going to be coming into view quite quickly, and so it's certainly something to keep an eye on. Now, uh, this week, really, uh, as we begin the week, I'm focused primarily on day trading at the moment, at least until this market can really start to pick a more lasting direction, and that's okay. You know, day trading has really been uh, offering the most for us in terms of uh, good opportunities for trading in recent days. And Friday was in fact a particularly good day in that regard as a number of nice moves came about from the premium video. But just remember that 
it's the overall market that's really going to determine which time frames and which methods are working best and so that is where our week begins every Sunday so there's your market view video for this first week of February stay disciplined out there and be sure to wait for your setups whatever types of setups those happen to be I'll see you back here soon with another video but in the meantime you know what to do trade like a bandit